you do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team, stand up! It's... <laughs> This is really gonna be hard, you guys. It's not June anymore. It's July. Why you lie? It's July. Damn. It's different now. Life's different, you guys. But it's all good. Check me out. Now, I was, you know, up to my usual on the grind. Took a break. Was on Twitter for five seconds. The man Cash, um, he's posting on Twitter talking about he's actually playing Hooper Hoopers. He's actually playing competition for the first time in his career. It's kind of interesting. So I uh, I uh, commented, um, and it's like a comment retweet shit, whatever that is called. And basically was just like, his incoming record is going to be 2-17. and 17 Because, look, man, when you play comp, because people don't realize that the reason why my record is honestly like in a losing record is because I play competition. Now, I told you guys, after when June is over, when I have this entire month of July especially, I'm going to be playing plate slash refrigerator, protectors, cleaners, um, Hall of Fame principles, Hall of Fame hype beast, um, non-hooper hoopers, wannabe hooper hoopers. Like, bro, it's like, I'm going to be playing some competition. Don't get it twisted because I'm definitely not about to just like, you know what I'm saying, be on like some bullshit, just like just playing any, you know. But at the same time, we're literally bouncing back. You know what I'm saying? But check me out. We have to see what we need to improve on and see if we did even improve at all in the month of June. Because right here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have June Flight's official 1v1 stats, WL record, and the shot chart. Shout out to this dude right here took the time to do this entire graph. Hopefully it's accurate and right. And one thing I can say is that if you don't even put the, uh, the kid that I played, the 10-year-old that I got called out to, that counts, by the way, that I didn't call. When I don't call for a game and somebody calls me out, even if I upload on my other channel, it counts. Now, if I don't upload a game at all, by the way, everybody, it doesn't count. So I'm just throwing it out there just in case. Because I think there was one game I did play that I didn't have the cameras on. And it was um, my dog, Anti. You know, he's a um, camera guy and, and everything. You know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes most of the time. And it was just like on some just like, you know, like, like return to favor type. Because he's always working hard and like recording, especially when you didn't, you know, it didn't expect it or didn't, you know, ask and always hooking with pictures and stuff. So it was just like, you know, good guy reacts. But when I don't have the cameras on, just letting you know the games doesn't count. So I don't know if they will put it in here or not. Let's check it out. It's June. It's June. It's June. It's still June. June has come and gone, and we have seen Flight upload a good amount of 1v1s, showcasing his June form. We all know how big of a deal this was to the community, so I thought it was only right that we took the time to look at his June stats look at and that compare form. them to his pre-June stats, just to really know how much Flight's game has changed and how much he has improved. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Let's get it. February 28, 2020. To this day, we're 9 at 34. By June, this record's gonna be, we're, we're having, by June we're having at least 40 wins. We're having at least 40 wins by June. And we're gonna have less than now, 38 losses. Now, the thing is, is that when it was February, yes, I did say this, but check me out. That's when the COVID wasn't what it was. And COVID didn't start getting to what it was until like mid-March. That's when everything started shutting down. If I would have known that that wouldn't have happened, first of all, I didn't even play up to 40 games. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not trying to sit up here and use a Corona as an excuse or anything like that. But at the same time, you guys, like, it has to be a fair excuse because it literally, bro, still right now, like, there's barely basketball courts that are open and everything like that, bro. So it's just like, you got to work with what you was given with. So we're only going to lose four more times. I we technically was close. We only lost six times. I won four times. Realistically, too, that's still a positive record. If you want to be real, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a positive record. But it's almost a positive record. Like, it's like an acceptable passing record. Because there's NBA teams that make the playoffs with like a 36 or 38 record. That's been happening. That happened before, I think. Six points per game. That's going to go up by June. That's going to go up, you know, at least by 18 or 20. You know what I'm saying? I'm averaging 18 and 20. It's facts. Mm -hmm. So the 
first thing we need to talk about is how Flight's game has improved. And to do that, Facts. we need to summarize his game from pre-June. So here we go, starting off on the offensive side of the ball, pre-June Flight did not take advantage of his height. He never played back to the basket and preferred to play the face-up game. And he liked to shoot the ball a lot. And exactly. this was a huge reason for the majority of his losses. And that's because Flight clearly didn't know how to correctly shoot a basketball. He didn't set his feet, never followed through on his shots, and sometimes it literally looked like he was just throwing the ball up. His handles were very basic. Anything other than a between the legs crossover was hard for Flight to execute, unless he was staying fast. Close. Yo. So creating his own shot was nearly impossible when you combine his poor handles with his awful shooting form. Another part of his offense was his poor driving. Even with his size, Flight never took it hard to the rack. Damn, and I was trash before June. By his opponents. Come and on now. To his horrible, famous Look, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, like, I was trash before June, bro. I, how many, let's be honest, how many of those types of shots did I really do on account of, like, on account of fingers, I probably did, like, three or four times like that. Like, looking back on this, this is horrible, bro. There is all, bro, right off the bat, you didn't even say I improved for June, bro. You're a lie. That's why this is literally dedicated. Why you lie is July. Because literally taking what I've learned in June and improving up on that factor for the rest of the entire final four months. October, December, and March 2021. Rhyming accidentally, son. <gasps> but look. I would literally airball a layup. It would either be an airball or it would be a made basket. Now... It's either a made basket and almost a made basket or an air ball. So now it's going to transfer for after when July is through with, it's going to transfer from almost a, it's going to transfer from made basket, almost a made basket to damn near made basket. Like, it's not to be, I'm not going to air ball him anymore or hit the backboard. By his opponents. And this often led to his horrible, famous That's shots. terrible, bro. That's when terrible. When did get to the rim, his ability to finish... Oh was my painful. gosh, bro. It was always painful to watch Flight either airball or miss very badly on open That's defense. terrible, On bro. defense, he was basically non-existent. And his poor stamina was... You see, good. I would have blocked that. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm blocking that. Non-existent. And That's packed. I'm blocking his that poor now. Stamina was a it's crazy. For that. He struggled to stay in front of his opponents this, on the Bro, drive. Kenny he really hit that move on me. He was very poor at contesting jump shots, and he never used his height to his advantage around the rim. Almost blocked it, I did So it. that basically sums up pre-June Flight's overall game. Now let's get into the things that he oh my improved gosh. on and kept the same in June. Starting off with his shooting, June Flight still shot the ball a lot. Too much, actually. But his jump shot form was a lot better than what it was. He's Fast. setting his feet, he's following through on his shots, but the only thing that is holding Flight back is that he's very inconsistent. And you're going to hear me say that word a lot in this video. But Flight can go from flipping the net inside out on back-to-back -back possessions and then throw up a straight air ball on the very next possession. It's like he gets his takeover, but his meter runs out in about 15 seconds. And in a couple of games this month, like the one against FaZe Rug, Flight shot the ball a ridiculous amount of times and didn't make a single shot. It's crazy, but his man. inconsistency doesn't stop at his shooting. He also has the same problem with his finishing. Flight can go from hitting contested reverses in one possession, and then the next possession, Flight will get a wide open look at the basket and completely break the layup. Pissing me off, the doing more, it. Which is a huge improvement, but again, the big thing holding him back is his inconsistency. And this affects Come his on! And I have See, to I'm making that Flight layup a lot more developed over now. The of June. Look at that move. They were still pretty sloppy, but as the month progressed, he was able to tighten them up, and he got a good bit of highlight plays because of them. And just to name a couple of those plays, he had two behind the back crossover plays on the Flight mic, and Jenna Bandy. Facts, yo. On defense, we saw June Flight give a much better effort than. Pre Look at that defense. Now, Football move, defense man. <laughs> nice. It's just clear that he Look was at that block. Amazing defense. That's a steal if the court was a little bigger. Nice. Okay, so these the improvement is definitely the defense. So I know it sounds like Flight hasn't improved a lot, but June Flight really has a solid foundation to build off of. He just has a few things that he needs to tweak. And I want to make sure that you guys understand this. We have to respect the guy for wanting to get better. And Look at that layup, man. So huge shout out to Flight for that. All right, now let's move on to his win-loss record. So if you've been keeping up with Flight the whole month of June, you know that he has a record of 4-6. and six. But we're going to go ahead and make that 3-6. and six no. Because the game against the 10-year-old no. doesn't count. Yes, so it does, do. man! Yes, it does! Bro, bro, stop taking wins away from me, man. That counts. You were doing good, man. I was rooting for you, bro. It counts, bro. I'm four and six. No, man. 
I didn't ask for that game. I got called out. It would have been different if I was like on random kid on the sideline, come and play me for some content, bro. I literally played a random 21 game that was just going to be thrown up on my second channel. And then I at the last second got that 10 year old game, bro. It counts, bro. No, man. Stop. Actually trying to get better. So huge shout out to Fight for that. All right, now let's move on to his win-loss record. So if you've been keeping up with Flight the whole month of June, you know that he has a record of four and six. But we're gonna go ahead and make that three and six because the game against the 10 year old doesn't count. I don't think I need to explain why. So June Flight's record is three and six. Bro, it's and four and six, it's four and six, bro. Flight Mike, to Shea Frost, and Moby. It's four and, and six. to know out of those three wins, which one was his best? Well, that was his June debut against the Flight Mike where Flight shot 9 for 28 from the field, which included a 2 for 9 performance from 3. And he only held the Flight Mike to 2 points. But to keep it real, the Flight Mike is the worst ball player I've seen in a while, but this is June Flight's best win. And on the flip side, the 6 people he has lost to are Barwadis, Amari Frost, Faze Rugg, Devontae Frigga, Jenna Bandy, and Cash Nasty. And you probably realize this by now, but all of the games that Flight lost this month were against good competition. People that are better than him. Thank so again, you. we gotta give Flight credit for Thank playing you. people that he knows are better than him. It just shows that he's serious about getting better. But I'm gonna tell you what his worst loss was, and you probably guessed it by now. It was his game against FaZe Rug, where Flight shot 15 jumpers and didn't make any of them, and his only two points came from rebound putbacks. I'm telling you right now, this game will be a huge motivation for Flight to become even better, because I know that he's extremely disappointed with how he performed in this game. But June Flight's record, 3-6, and six, and when you combine this with his pre-June record, Flight's official 1v1 record is now 13-46. and 46. Now let's move on to his averages. So on the left side of your screen, you have Flight's pre-June stats all the way up to March 10th, 2020. And huge shout out to Legend of Winning for these numbers right here. And as you can see, these numbers are, well, terrible. Flight was putting up nearly 20 shots a game, 11 of those being three-pointers, and he was only averaging six points. And if you take a look at his complete totals, he took a total of 964 shots and only made 220 of them, which means he had a 22.8 field goal percentage. And 57% of his attempted shots were three-pointers, 547 to be exact, and Flight only made 93 of them, which gave him a three-point percentage of 17. So now that you've seen this and processed it, I now want to show you Flight's June stats. In his nine games, Flight put up an average of 26 shots a game and made 6.3 of them. And this included 11 three-pointers a game and Flight made... So right off the bat, it's improvement. June was a success. 19.3 field goals a game. Now it's going to 26.0 field goals a game. 4.4 made a game now it went up to six now i'm guaranteeing he's scoring six plus points a game three points attempted made whatever 11. let's see a three point they made near two of them three and point made it went down no that's wrong it has to be wrong it has to be wrong it has to be wrong that has to be wrong that's not accurate bro i've made more threes in my 1v1s in the month of june let alone but pre-june also has more games played too that's why that's probably why so i'm not too mad about that one so by looking so actually at these eight numbers, points a game. you can already tell two things. One being that June Flight averaged seven more shots a game, which of course is going to equal more points a game. And two being that his three-point shooting got worse. So let's go ahead and break this down some more and look at his complete totals. In his nine games, June Flight put up a total of 234 shots and only made 57 of them, which means he has a field goal percentage of 24.4. But check this out. Out of those 234 shots, 101 of them were three-pointers, and Flight only made 16 of them, which gives him a three-point percentage of 15.8. That's because I played less games, though, so that's kind of like not a fair, like, comparison. Yes. Remember earlier in the video when I said Flight shoots too much? Well, here you go. Also, here is a list of stats for June Flight's games. There is a link in the description that will take you to this chart if you want to look at it for yourself. Okay, and so that's another reaction. Before I let y'all go, let's take a look at June Flight's shot chart. Alright, this is probably a big reason why you clicked onto this video, so let's not waste any more Here's time. Our shot chart. Every shot Flight has put up in June is on this chart. There are 57 makes and 177 misses. And nice. Yes, that so my hot spots now are mid range, right here. And then like inside the paint and then on the left side of the court like the wing and then the corner i had people tell me that the corner is low-key my hot spot with the three you know what i'm saying 
it's like a, it's like a love and hate relationship with the corner spot because it's like if you miss bad, it's like you airball. At least if it's like in a wing or the middle, it's like you hit the backboard or something, you can get a chance to re rebound, you know? So this is it's his improvement right off the bat. That's a lot of range. Now I want to talk about some of Flight's tendencies. As you can see, and like I've said many times in this video, June Flight has taken a ton of three-pointers, and he shoots them all over the court. Next, I want to point out the abundance amount of shots taken in the right low block area. I don't know why, but Flight really loves this area. And finally, Flight can't go left. There are clearly not as many I can't go left? What are you talking about? A lot of my shots are left-handed. Did you not see this shot, bro? See, this is what I'm talking about, a lot of inaccurate things, bro. I had the crossover of the 2020 year, bro, on Jenna. You know what I'm saying? And then finish with the left hand, but I can't go left. What are you talking about, bro? This that that was God given talent. You can't teach that on somebody, bro. That's actually low key be, me being naturally ambidextrous too. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm right handed. On this side, no left right side. side. Come on, bro. That's oh, reaching. On. We've been comparing pre June flight with June flight the entire video. So why stop here? What you're looking at is pre June flight's full shot chart. And pre June shot chart is also more games played, but. Right off the bat, the June shot chart is a lot more better. And again, huge shout out to Legend of Winning for making this one. Y'all make sure to go check him out. His links are in the description. So I put these two shot charts side by side, and you can see a lot of similarities. First thing being the crazy amount of threes that are taken all around the court. Second being the amount of shots taken in that right low block area. And third being the low amount of shots taken on the left side when you compare them to the right side. So there we have it. We now know how much June Flight has improved from his pre-June form. His defensive effort has improved. He has fixed his shooting form. That shit's hard. His handles are a bit tighter. He's getting to the rim more. He just needs to work on hitting his shots consistently. Damn, I gotta hit and that. And all of his shooting numbers are a little bit better, except his three-point percentage. June Flight averages 8.1 points per game, allows his opponents to score 10.7 points a game, he has a 24.4 field goal percentage and a 15.8 three-point percentage. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I put a ton of work into this, so if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. Also, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss future uploads from me. We are 100 away from 5,000 subscribers. Thank hey, man, that's going to cap it off, man. Was June Flight real or was it a myth? As usual, man, coming down below, let's react to next, man, on the road to so 3 milli milli. Hey, man. For you guys out there that's still interested in copying merch, we got the merch site open back up one last time before it'll officially shut down in the middle of July before we get the new designs out. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you get your merch back up on the site. Restock for a little bit, short amount of time.